Hey guys, welcome once again to the one coin only arcade challenge. It's always great to have you. We're continuing our journey to play all the old school arcade games. And we've been putting it off, but you guys have requested this a lot, and we're finally doing it. We're going to be playing a King of the Monsters game, and we're going to be starting with a sequel today. We're going to be playing King of the Monsters 2, released by SNK and Neo Geo in the early 90s. And uh, we're just going to do one play of the computer. You can pick from like a multiple array of characters. Uh, this game kind of feels like a cross between, uh, I guess you could say, the Power Rangers and a Godzilla movie. You can either pick like a big ass monster or, or cyborg, and then you're just like walking around terrorizing this city while you defeat other rival monsters and armies and things like that. It's, it's pretty creative actually, and I love how every time you move around in this game you'll destroy a building while you're sort of taking care of your own business. So it's really interactive and a lot of fun. And uh, as you can see, we've picked this Godzilla type character. And uh, I'm not going to use the H word because I use it too often. But there's definitely a big multitude of elements to this game. You'll sort of do like these one on one boss battles, which will kind of work like a battle wooden in Street Fighter or King of Fighters. And then uh, after you finish with that, you'll sort of advance through the level like you wouldn't have beat him up. But rather than take on sort of a lot of monsters and other creatures in, in this mode, you'll be destroying things like. Uh, ships and planes and tanks and things like that so it's really really unique i mean you're going around destroying the city beating up stuff and then getting in a one-on-one -on -one boss fight so it's kind of like a cross between rampage a cross between godzilla a cross between the power rangers it's just a a very very unique game and it's not the best game in the world like the controls are a bit meh but um it's just such a good idea and uh it's just one of those casual games that if you turn down the difficulty and you don't want to think too much about, you can just button bash and just appreciate it for what it is. So, uh, I would recommend trying this game at least once. And uh, I know this also came out back in the day on Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, and uh, on the Neo Geo system. And apart from seeing it on TV, I never actually had a chance to play it until now. And uh, I can definitely see what all the fuss is about. But, um... As I haven't really mentioned the controls yet, but you've just got this basic swipe attack with this character and then you've got a tail whip that you can do and then uh, you've also got a jump button and then you'll uh, get into certain grapple positions where you'll have to button bash in order to win, just like you would in a wrestling game. Uh, I find I kind of lose in that situation quite a lot, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing wrong. And uh, there's other things I need to figure out. We've got those like p little P icons in the top uh, left hand corner of the screen. I know there's some kind of power up I can use. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm missing because I'm trying to press all the buttons but it's not really doing anything but that's okay. We're just casually playing today and hopefully we can at least make it past this one boss fight. And uh, as I said, it's a really, really good casual game. I would recommend turning it down from uh, its original difficulty though because it is quite challenging and tedious. Uh, when you have it on the default setting. Um, I'd recommend playing it more in its easier form if you just had a big day from work and you sort of just want to relax and unwind and not think too much. This would feel like the perfect game for me to play in that situation. Uh, hopefully we can advance. I just absolutely love how we're destroying the city while we're doing all these boss fights and stuff. It's just such an interactive game. It's really cool. And everything's very, very well designed. I mean, Neo Geo games are, def are generally pretty colourful as well anyway. And is that the boss done? Oh, he's still got a little bit of health left. Son of a bitch. Oh, damn. Lucky we've got one life left. We can carry on. Yeah. I feel like... I didn't really feel like there was a strategy with the boss fight. So I, I, I just kind of felt like we are going blow for blow there, but maybe next time I play, or in the future, I can figure that one out. So we're off to France now. I guess we're stomping along the ocean, traveling along. I wonder if we can knock the Eiffel Tower down. That'd be pretty cool, hey. It's cool as you travel levels, different environments. All the, all the buildings look different and stuff too. So, I mean, again, it just gives you that sort of sense of advancement and something new to see. Makes you excited to keep playing. Now we've gone purple for some reason. Now, the levels aren't gigantic or too 
too big. It seems to be more about the one-on-one -on -one combat. These beat-em-up sequences on the whole seem to be quite short, and I wouldn't be surprised if we got up to another boss in the next 30 seconds. I have noticed I haven't really had to use the tail whip too much yet. It kind of feels like a waste. But it seems like to be a good strategy if you need to keep someone at a distance, come to think of it in hindsight. We've got another boss coming up here. I can't knock that down, that's a pain. There we go, there's the Eiffel Tower. We've got to knock that some bitch down. There we go. Use it as a weapon, that's freaking awesome! I wonder if we can keep this... See, so this guy looks like he's got a range punch. I wonder if we can keep him from a distance. I mean, he still seems pretty challenging. Seems to be able to attack a lot quicker than what I can too. Oh, damn, I haven't even taken any health off him yet. Now he's going all Ultimate Warrior on me. Take that, you son bitch. I'm not struggling as much as the last boss. It's just a shame we don't have that life as backup. Treat him, treat him like a T-bone steak now. That's also pretty awesome. Didn't know you could hit him on the ground as well. That's also pretty cool. Oh, damn. Is that all our health gone now? Bummer. Well, that's it, guys. It looks like that's our credit done. But, guys, that was King of the Monsters 2. This is a pretty fun casual game. If you like beat-em-ups and side-scrollers, give it a try, guys. And, as always, thank you for joining us. Please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, guys, and we'll see you next time.